Now the second bit given to us is x square plus 3x plus 1 and the other polynomial is 3x power 4 plus 5x cube minus 7x square plus 2x plus 2. Since we need to divide the second polynomial by the first polynomial, first polynomial becomes divisor and the second polynomial becomes dividend. So the divisor which is x square plus 3x plus 1 can be written here and the dividend which is 3x power 4 plus 5x cube minus 7x square plus 2x plus 2 can be written here. The highest degree term of the dividend is 3x power 4 and the highest degree term of the divisor is x square. So on dividing them we get 3x square. So 3x square multiplied by the divisor which is x square plus 3x plus 1 we get 3x power 4 plus 9x cube plus 3x square. So 3x square can be written at the place of the quotient and this product can be written here which is 3x power 4 plus 9x cube plus 3x square. On subtracting we get 3x power 4 and minus 3x power 4 will be cancelled. 5x cube minus 9x cube is minus 4x cube and minus 7x square minus 3x square is minus 10x square. This becomes 2x plus 2. Now the new dividend is minus 4x cube minus 10x square plus 2x plus 2. It has the highest degree term as minus 4x cube. And the divisor has highest term as x square. On dividing them we get minus 4x. So it can be written at the place of the quotient. Now minus 4x multiplied by the divisor which is x square plus 3x plus 1 gives minus 4x cube minus 12x square minus 4x. So this product can be written here minus 4x cube minus 12x square minus 4x now let us subtract this minus 4x cube and plus 4x cube will be cancelled minus 10x square plus 12x square gives 2x square 2x plus 4x gives 6x and this is plus 2 so now the new dividend is 2x square plus 6x plus 2 which has highest degree term as 2x square and the highest degree term of the divisor is x square. So on dividing them we get 2. So 2 multiplied by the divisor which is x square plus 3x plus 1 gives 2x square plus 6x plus 2. So 2 can be written at the place of the quotient and this product can be written here which is 2x square plus 6x plus 2. On subtracting 2x square and minus 2x square will be cancelled. 6x and minus 6x will be cancelled. 2 and minus 2 will be cancelled. So this becomes 0. Now we can say that the remainder is 0. If the remainder is 0 then the second polynomial is divided by the first polynomial. We can say that the first polynomial which is x square plus 3x plus 1 is a factor of the second polynomial which is 3x to the power of 4 plus 5x cube minus 7x square plus 2x plus 2.